Hello friends, myself B. P. Sa from Kendri Vidyala Kesapuram. Today I elaborate the chapter photosynthesis in class 11th. The photosynthesis term is made by two things that means photon which means light and synthesis putting together the some things. Photosynthesis either directly means synthesis of organic compound with the help of photon that is light. Generally the green plant make their own food with the help of sunlight and it convert into the chemical energy that is ATP which are being utilized by the consumers as well as other living organisms. There are many definitions regarding the photosynthesis the some one are important definitions are photosynthesis is a biochemical process by which green plant use radiant energy and convert it into the chemical energy in the form of organic compound. The great scientist Rabinovich defined the photosynthesis it is a synthesized photochemical oxidation and reduction that means here oxidation and reduction both takes place that is the redox reaction mechanism between water and carbon dioxide taking place at biological temperature. Photosynthesis is the only process on the earth by which the radiant energy trapped by autotropic organism and converted into food for all the organisms about 170 million ton of dry matter in term of carbon is produced by this method out of which 90 percent form in the ocean. Only 0 0.2 percent of light energy incident on earth is utilized by photosynthetic organism. Now, what are the importance of photosynthesis? As we already tell it is the only process by which the autotropic organism make their own food and the all the other organisms like uh, consumers, decomposers which depend directly or indirectly on the producers. So, it is primary source of food. It is the only process that release oxygen and you know the oxygen plays vital role in our life. This oxygen help in the breakdown of the food material that we are eating and convert it into the ATP which is utilized for various metabolic process like respiration, like circulatory system, like nervous system all the met this metabolic process require energy and this energy directly or indirectly oxidized by the oxygen and converted into ATP. About 70 million ton of carbon is fixed annually by the photosynthesis. This is the simplest and to explain the photosynthesis here is the green plant that is the sunflower is there here is the green leaf which is the site of photosynthesis and the radiant energy received by the green leaves with the help of various types of pigments are present here that is chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotene, xanthophyll and this radiant energy converted into chemical energy and it release oxygen as a byproduct and the carbon dioxide during the respiration organism release carbon dioxide which is received by plant through the stomata and it converted into carbohydrate and oxygen. This one is the process here is the ingredient and product. The ingredient that means the raw material of photosynthesis that is carbon dioxide, water and certain amount of nutrients that converted into carbohydrate 
and oxygen. Here we can say that this hydrogen water and carbon dioxide it convert into carbohydrate and this is the byproduct. This byproduct is utilized by the human being as well as other organisms. Now, the historical perspective of the photosynthesis large number of scientists, biologists, their contribution regarding the photosynthesis first of all, Aristotle and Theophrastus thought that plant absorb inorganic and organic material directly from the soil. Plant make food as we have already discussed and for the food preparing the food it required inorganic and organic substance. According to the Aristotle and Theophrastus this material came from the soil. According to the Van Helmont, Van Helmont in 1648 according to him all the vegetations all the living organisms are nothing but water. According to the von Helmont he grew a willow twig of about 5 pond he watered with the rain water 5 years continuously and found that this 5 pond willow twig converted into 164 pond and 3 ons only the consumption of 2 ons of the soil and rest amount of water. So, finally, he concluded that von Helmont concluded that all vegetation is nothing there is only water because this 5 pond willow twigs converted into 164 pond twigs only the use of rain water. So, all the vegetations are nothing but water. According to the Joseph Priestley in 1722, he proved that green plants purify the air as we have already discussed. During the photosynthesis the plant release oxygen and this oxygen purify the air. He gave the famous experiment that is mint, mouse and candle experiment. In this experiment the Joseph Priestley used a bell jar like this and use a candle inside the bell jar firstly there is the presence of oxygen he burnt the candle, candle glow up and he take a mouse here and he found that mice survived. After some times he found that the candle not burnt and mice died. Due to this experiment he concluded that during the burning of candle it released carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide received by the mice and mice being dead due to the absence of oxygen the candle not able to burn. In this experiment he added some mint plant certain mint plant and here candle burnt and find that mice survived. He concluded that mint plant this carbon dioxide released by the candle received by the mint plant this is the mint plant received by the mint plant and photosynthesis takes place and it releases oxygen. This oxygen help in the burning of candle 
as well as my survived. So, finally, he concluded that green plant that is the mean plant release oxygen purify the poisonous gases by the mice or the candle burning candle and mice as well as mint plant is survived. So, this is the famous experiment known as mint mice and candle experiment given by Joseph Priestley. According to John Ingen Haas, plant could release oxygen it is the same process. According to the Julius Sack, starch granules are synthesized in the chloroplast. I will tell later the leaf is the site of photosynthesis no doubt. Inside the leaf there is presence of chloroplast. After the photosynthesis it was found that this chloroplast this is the outer membrane this is the inner membrane or this one is space is called periplastidal space. Or inside this there is presence of granum and this granum is made by thylakoids and here is the granules stroma where the one part of photosynthesis that is dark reaction takes place this one is thylakoid. the group of thylakoid form granum where the light reaction takes place. According to the Julia Sachs star he found that after the photosynthesis starch was present. So, and finally, he concluded that during the photosynthesis starch is formed. According to the von Mayer 1845 reported that green plant converted solar energy into the chemical energy in the form of carbohydrate like the starch. Emerson and Arnold he performed they performed flashing light experiment to show the existence of light and dark reaction. Here we have already told that in chloroplast thylakoid as well as stroma are present in thylakoid light reaction takes place. and in stroma dark reaction takes place. This dark reaction takes place in absence of light. So, when the immersion and Arnold performed the flashing of light, flashing of light means the light given or light on and off. During the off mechanism dark reaction takes place during the on mechanism light reaction takes place. So, they performed that the there are two type of reaction takes place during the photosynthesis that is the light reaction and dark reaction. Now, the other scientist that is called Blackman who discovered also finally, proved that there is the presence of light and dark reaction. Now, will Starer and Stroll physical and chemical properties of chlorophyll. Inside the chloroplast large number of chlorophylls are present this chlorophyll which absorb particular wavelength of light. Next scientist that is the Warburg he use unicellular algae that is the chlorella for the suitable material for photosynthesis. Chlorella is also extracted which I will deal later on how the chlorella plant extracted and from the cholera plant cholera is chloroplast is extracted. The most famous scientist von Nell proved that oxygen is evolved during the photosynthesis by photolysis of water. 
von Nell uses the photosynthetic bacteria. Von Nell postulates that green plant in green plant water is utilized in place of H2S and O2 evolved in place of sulfur. He gave the famous reaction during the normal process of photosynthesis what happened the carbon dioxide combined with water and it converted into carbohydrate O6 and this oxygen acts as a byproduct. Von Nil use instead of water he used hydrogen sulfide and found that carbohydrate is formed in instead of oxygen sulfur is released. Finally, he concluded that during the photosynthesis oxygen is released this oxygen came from water because in another reaction this sulfur came from the H2S hydrogen sulfide here there is no water. So, the oxygen came from the water instead of carbon dioxide. Here we can say that carbon in carbon dioxide oxygen is also present in water oxygen is also present. Finally, it was proved by the various type of scientists like von Nil, Ruben and Kamen and Hill reaction. He finally proved that this oxygen came from the water not from the carbon dioxide. So, this is the first proof by the von Nil. instead of using water he used hydrogen sulfide and proved that the hydrogen this is the parallel reaction of the photosynthesis this one is the one reaction this is the parallel reaction. Here there is no use of water. So, carbohydrate is in both cases carbohydrate is formed glucose is formed in both cases, but instead of oxygen sulfur is produced. So, von Nil concluded that oxygen evolved during the photosynthesis by the photolysis of water. This oxygen when released due to the photolysis what happened in photolysis this is the water lysis of water in presence of photon and it converted into proton it converted into electron and oxygen. So, this oxygen came from the water and this process takes place during the light that is called photolysis of water. we can say that lysis of water in presence of photon and oxygen evolved. According to the hill we demonstrate with the help of isolated chloroplast in presence of suitable electron acceptor and photolysis of water. According to the hill reaction he isolated the chloroplast. Chloroplast can be easily isolate. He demonstrated the isolated chloroplast evolved oxygen when they are illuminated in presence of suitable electron acceptor and he used ferricyanide in absence of carbon dioxide. In the Hill reaction, Hill reaction is known as a part of photosynthesis because in this cases we find that in this reaction the chloroplast is used chloroplast is isolated and only light and water is used there is no carbon dioxide and oxygen is evolved. So, it means that this water release oxygen and when we use ferricyanide this ferricyanide is reduced to ferrocyanide by the photolysis of water. In photolysis we have already in earlier reaction during the photolysis it release proton 
this proton is used by the ferricyanide and it reduced into the ferrocyanides. So, after the Hill reaction it is already proved that the oxygen is released during the photosynthesis by the water. There is another scientist that is Ruben and Kaiman. In 1941, he confirmed that the oxygen is released not from the carbon dioxide, only from the water. He used isotopic study. He used heavy oxygen that is oxygen 18. The oxygen is evolved and proved that von Nils experiment. During this experiment, this reaction we have written here, carbon dioxide water is used. Here the oxygen used by Ruben and carbon that is heavy that is 18 and he found that there is release of starch that is glucose and oxygen is released and after finding it was found that this oxygen is 18. When we are using or here the oxygen is normal 16. So, in this cases we can prove that this oxygen 18 released from the yeah, evolved from the water not from the carbon dioxide because the carbon dioxide is labeled by 16 and here water is labeled by 18. So, this three experiment von Neel experiment, Hill experiment and Ruben and Kaiman experiment proved that the oxygen evolved during the photosynthesis not released by the carbon dioxide only by the water. So, this is the used by the Ruben and Kaiman 18 and reported that photosynthesis during the photosynthesis oxygen come from the water. After that Kelvin the famous reaction that is the dark reaction is also named by Kelvin cycle or C 3 cycle trace the pathway of carbon dioxide during the photosynthesis and finally, gave the C 3 cycle. Next scientist Richard Martin the Nobel prize winner in 1951 in chemistry on the chlorophyll and other pigment. The whole reaction the whole process of photosynthesis it takes place inside the green plant green leaves that contain various types of pigment that is chlorophyll and other pigment which we will discuss. The site of photosynthesis as we have already discussed this is the chloroplast site, this is the leaf upper epidermis, here the lower, lower epidermis, two types of parenchyma are present that is the, the entire is known as mesophyll, this mesophyll divided into palisade parenchyma and spongy parenchyma. Inside the parent palisade parenchyma large number of chloroplast are present or inside the chloroplast photosynthesis takes place. And we have already discussed the chloroplast structure there is the presence of thylakoid, stroma and stroma lamellae. The mesophyll cell contain chloroplast, chloroplast contain chlorophyll pigment, this pigment is a substance which absorb particular wavelength of light. This particular wavelength of light means that is the visible range of light that our eyes perceive that is violet vip gyore. It absorb light in violet and blue wavelength and the red regions. This is the light range 300, 400, 500, 600 and 700 nanometer the plant absorb only 400 to 700 wavelength of light this is called visible range of light that is violet blue blue green green yellow green yellow and orange and red the maximum rate of photosynthesis that is 
oxygen evolved in the red light. After that, this range that is the infrared, which are not utilized by the plant as well as human being, and below the 400, there is ultraviolet rays. It is also not utilized by the plant as well as human being. Only the visible range of light are utilized by the plant for the photosynthesis. This is the chloroplast structure. This is the well developed chloroplast structure. This is the stalk that is called granum. The one is called thylakoid. This is the outer membrane, the inner membrane, inner membranal space. In thylakoid, all the enzymes are present for the photosynthesis for light reaction. In stoma, dark reaction takes place. We have already discussed double membrane structure of the chloroplast. Here is the stoma. Stoma is the site of a dark reaction. In stoma, circular DNA, RNA, and 70 S ribosome are present. The lamellar system with the stoma form thylakoids. This is the structure of a chlorophyll molecules, where the photosynthesis takes place. Chlorophyll molecules, the structure of chlorophyll molecules, it is just like a tennis racket. <laughs> the tennis racket we have already seen here is a circular ring like structure at the head that is called pore firing ring. And the hand of tennis racket Here is the tail of chlorophyll that is called phytal tail. The chlorophyll molecules are made by head and tail. Head is made by porphyrin ring and tail is called phytal tail. It is just like a tadpole like structure that is the frog larva. The porphyrin ring consists of four parallel ring. Here the four parallel rings are there and this ring contain nitrogen and centrally placed magnesium just like hemoglobin. The porphyrin ring consists of four parallel ring 1, 2, 3 and 4 and each parallel ring made by nitrogen as well as carbon dioxide carbon is there and this porphyrin ring are attached with each other by methane bond. This methane bond are made by carbon hydrogen here is the double bond. Okay, the porphyrin head consists of four parallel ring linked together by the methane CH the carbon is attached by the one and here is the double bond structure form the ring system. Each parallel ring composed of 4 carbon 1, 2, 3, 4 carbons and 1 nitrogen. These are the nitrogen we have already discussed this nitrogen, this nitrogen, this nitrogen and this nitrogen. So, the each porphyrin ring are made by 5 membered ring. 5 member out of 5 member 1 is nitrogen and 4 is carbon carbon 4 and each ring contain centrally core magnesium group. A side chain of that is the phytal chain extend from one of the parallel ring out of this parallel ring one parallel ring is going to be extended and the phytal tail. The phytal tail is made by 20 carbons. This phytal 20 carbons are attached to the 7 of the parallel ring of fourth. This one is the fourth carbon fourth member and the 20 carbon attached here with the propionic 
acid ester bond. The, there are large number according to the fridge, there are 11 type of chlorophylls are there, chlorophyll A, B, C and so on, but two main chlorophylls are there which is which mainly help in the photosynthesis that is the chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. More or less the structure of chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B is similar, but there is slightly different. Chlorophyll A differ from the chlorophyll in the nature of group attached at the 3. The third member of the parallel ring chlorophyll A has methyl group while the in chlorophyll B there is here is the methyl group is there, here is aldehyde group is there. Now, we can discuss about the different types of chloroplast pigment or chlorophyll pigment. The chloroplast contain the large number of pigment that is mainly chlorophyll, carotenoid and phycoblins. The chlorophyll and carotenoids which are present in the higher plant and phycoblin which is found in the lower group of the plant like cyanobacteria that is the blue green algae and rhodophysic. Here we have slightly details about the chlorophyll and other pigment. Chlorophyll the main I have already told different type of chlorophylls are there, but here we discussed only chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, chlorophyll C and chlorophyll D and bacterial chlorophyll. Carotenoids are divided into two groups that is carotene and xanthophyll. The chlorophyll a which is most abundant in the green plant, it is found in the higher plant as well as green plant. Its molecular formula is C 55 H 72 O 5 N 4 M Z. And Chlorophyll B similar is that it is also made by C 55 H 70 O 6 N 4 M G. We have already discussed magnesium ion is centrally placed and 4 nitrogen groups are there in the form of pyrrole ring. Here also magnesium ion 4 pyrrole ring nitrogen. Here the difference is here, here is hydrogen is 72, here hydrogen is 70, here oxygen is 5, oxygen is 6. Okay. The chlorophyll A generally it is blue green in color, blue green color and the most important things it absorbs the light 430 to 660 nanometer wavelength of light chlorophyll A receive that finally, shows the action spectrum and action spect absorption spectrum also. The blue green algae receive 430 and 6 maximum range of the 660 nanometer wavelength of light. In the chlorophyll B here is the molecular formula is this it is generally yellow green color. and it also received the wavelength 555 nanometer to 644 nanometer wavelength of light. This one is the lowest one, this one is the highest one and in this range the chlorophyll B release oxygen, evolved oxygen and rate of photosynthesis depend upon the this range. Beside this there is the chlorophyll C which molecular weight is molecular formula C 55 H 92 O 5 N 4 M G. So, in all these cases we find that there is the magnesium and nitrogen is common. 
Now, there is beside this the chlorophyll D, which is dominant pigment in the rhodophysi member. It is also green in color. Here, the range is 447 to 688, it is find in the red algae. Bacterial chlorophyll, which is color is pale blue color, it is mainly found in the green sulfur bacteria and purple sulfur bacteria, where during the photosynthesis that is called chemosynthesis, in instead of water, there is use of hydrogen sulfide. Now, the another pigment that is carotenoids that contain carotene and xanthophyll is the molecular formula is C40H56, it is orange in color. The range of receiving light is 450 to 460, it is found in algae and the higher plant. And xanthophyll, it is also found in the algae and the higher plant. Beside this, the phycobilin, which is found in the lower algae, that is also divided into phycoerythrin and phycocyanin. Both color is red, Excuse so me. dominant. Sir, can we ask a question? Sir. Uh, chlorophyll C, is that C54 or C34? Chlorophyll C, which is dominant pigment in the rhodophysi. Thank you, sir. Here, the formula of uh, chlorophyll C is C35. At 32 O5 and 4 Mg. Correct. Sorry, that is the correct formula. Okay. 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 H32. Okay. So here is the main structure of chlorophyll. Here is the magnesium ion, nitrogen here, and in the second pyrrole ring, here is the methyl group or instead of chlorophyll B, methyl group is replaced by. Here we see that the there are the different range of the light absorbed. This is the spectrum of chlorophyll A, here is the wavelength and the amount of light absorbed. This is the range. Here we find that the chlorophyll B absorbed may more light amount of light in comparison to the chlorophyll A and carotenoid also. The maximum range of the chlorophyll A here is the 700 approximately 700 nanometer and in chlorophyll B just below the 700, 650, 640. This graph shows the two type of a spectrum that is absorption spectrum as well as action spectrum. The portion of visible light that I have, I have already told that is the 400 to 700 nanometer that is also called PAR photosynthetically active radiation. This shows two graph that is absor absorption spectrum, a curve reflecting the amount of light absorbed by the pigment at each wavelength. So, when we plot the graph like this in x axis and y axis, here is the wavelength of light, here is the amount of light absorbed. When the amount of light absorbed by the particular pigment, that graph shows the absorption spectrum. There is another graph, the rate of photosynthesis against the wavelength, the actual rate of oxygen evolved, that is actual rate of oxygen evolved means rate of photosynthesis huge amount of oxygen evolved during the photosynthesis, it means the rate is very high. The actual rate of oxygen evolved and carbon dioxide consumed during the photosynthesis is plotted against the wavelength that gives action spectrum. 
Now, the question is there are large number of pigment chlorophyll pigment as well as carotene and other pigments are there. The all other pigment except the center molecule that is the reaction center it also involved in photosynthesis it receive lower wavelength of light. This lower wavelength of light received by the particular pigment and finally, this wavelength of light it gives to the reaction center where the reaction is going to be start that is electron is released and this electron is accepted by the different types of acceptor that is called primary acceptor. When this different type of molecules that is called also called antenna molecules these antenna molecules it receive lower wavelength of light and finally, the reaction these receive the lower wavelength of light and finally, this energy passes to the reaction center. When the reaction center receive the particular wavelength of light that is able to release the electron this electron is going to be released when any molecules according to the Einstein photoelectric effect when any molecule receive energy it release electron and this molecule which receive energy now come in the excited state. In the same fashion the chloroplast pigment which have large amount of pigment large amount of molecules that is called antenna molecules it received particular wavelength of light and now comes in the excited state. Any molecules does not want continue to be in excited state it wants to be in ground state. For coming in the ground state here the water is going to be break down and sufficient amount of light is here. This water release proton, electron and oxygen. This electron released by the water this electron came here. This electron received by the reaction center that is the pigment system and now it come in the ground state after receiving the. So, this reaction also called photolysis of water photolysis of water and the release of electron which help in the reaction center molecule come in the ground state and this electron which is released by the reaction center or the main pigment it is accepted by primary acceptor and this oxygen acts as a byproduct which is released in the environment and the proton are received by various type of coenzyme like NAD nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate and it combined with the proton and it converted into NADPH2 which gives assimilatory power for the photosynthesis. This NADPH2 that is called reduced coenzyme and finally, this reduced coenzyme 
when the reaction when the reaction require hydrogen this NADPH2 release hydrogen and reaction is going to be start. Here the chlorophyll is responsible for involving the light energy and converting into the electrical and chemical energy. So, they call reaction center here is the reaction center. Chlorophyll B molecule is acting as a accessory pigment help to broaden the spectrum of the absorption of the light. Chlorophyll B beside the chlorophyll there are the another pigment carotene, xanthophyll and other small molecules which receive particular wavelength of light and finally, it gives to the reaction center to start the reaction. Now, there are mainly two type of reactions are there the light reaction and dark reaction. This light reaction we have already told this reaction require this NADPH2 and ATP. This ATP and NADPH2 which release in the light reaction. And combinedly this both is called assimilatory power. which help in the reaction that is called right reaction. In stroma as we have already told during the chloroplast thylakoid and stromas are there for dark reaction all the enzymes are present in the stroma. Dark reaction not dependent upon the light. So, it is called dark reaction light reaction takes place in the light. So, it is called light reaction here the summarized form of the light reaction this is the antenna molecules reaction center primary acceptors. Here two type of pigment system as already scientist discovered after the flashing of light light and dark reaction this antenna molecule received light and release electron these electron are accepted by a compound known as ferrodoxane. This ferrodoxane release the electron and received by this electron to plastoquinone. After the plastoquinone, the electron release and it is accepted by cytochrome complex, then plastocyanin. After the plastocyanin, this electron returned back to the reaction center. So, in this cases we find that the electron is released and finally, it enter into the reaction center. So, this type of reaction this type of light reaction is called cyclic because it formed the cyclic way electron release here and again came back to the pigment system 700. In this process in cytochrome complex here ADP adenosine diphosphate is converted into ATP. Formation of ATP that process is called phosphorylation. Here the ATP is formed with the help of light that light absorbed by the antenna molecules as well as the core molecules. So, this phosphorylation is called photophosphorylation. because ATP is formed with the help of photon. So, the here the electron coming from the reaction center P 700 return back to the P 700. So, this type of phosphorylation is also called cyclic phosphorylation. So, in light reaction though two type of phosphorylation takes place cyclic phosphorylation 
and non cyclic phosphorylation. This cyclic phosphorylation it requires the primary acceptor ferroxine plastoquinone cytochrome then plastocyanin and return back to the there is another type of phosphorylation also there that is called non cyclic phosphorylation. In non cyclic phosphorylation two type of pigment system are involved that is pigment system 2 that absorb lower wavelength of light that is P 680 and another pigment system that is pigment system 1 it received maximum 700 wavelength of light. During the daytime, when light is present the antenna molecules as well as the other molecule it receive the particular wavelength of light and finally, it goes to the pigment system 2 that is P 680. This P 680 when energy is received it come in excited state and finally, it release electron. Now, after the releasing electron it came in excited state and this excited state fulfilled by photolysis of water that is oxygen is released as a byproduct, proton is received by the NADP. and finally, converted into NADPH 2 and this electron are received by pigment system second. This pigment system now come in the ground state. Now, in the another cycle that is called non cyclic phosphorylation this primary acceptor this electron transfer to the plastoquinone that is P q and from the plastoquinone the electron goes to cytochrome complex. From the cytochrome complex which release ATP as we have already discussed in cyclic ADP plus inorganic phosphate it converted into ATP. From the cytochrome complex the electron goes to plastocyanin and from the plastocyanin it goes to pigment system first. When the pigment system first receive electron it already release the electron when receiving P 700, 7, 700 wavelength of light. After receiving P 700 wavelength of light it comes in the excited state. Now, it is fulfilled by the electron received from the plastocyanin. Now, this electron which is released from the pigment system first it is received by ferroxine. This ferroxine release electron to NADP and this electron and here is the proton finally, this proton and the electron combine and this NADP is converted into NADPH 2. Here things is very common to the cyclic phosphorylation that is ATP is released. So, this process is called phosphorylation. But one thing is different that the electron released from the pigment system 2 not coming back to the pigment system 2 it goes to the pigment system 1 and from the pigment system 1 to the NADPH 2. So, the electron is not able to return 
same type of reaction center. So, this type of phosphorylation is called non cyclic. So, there are two type of phosphorylation is there non cyclic phosphorylation as well as cyclic phosphorylation. The difference is there in non cyclic phosphorylation two pigment system are involved that is pigment system 1 and pigment system 2. But in case of cyclic phosphorylation only one pigment system involved that is P S 1 P 700. In both cases ATP is for. So, these are the common things between the cyclic and non cyclic phosphorylation and the difference is that this NADPH 2 this one and this one ATP which is released in the light reaction called assimilatory power already discussed these are used in to fix this NADPH 2 and ATP which used to fix the carbon dioxide into carbohydrate. This is the reduction process because carbon dioxide it accept hydrogen and convert it into glucose molecule that finally, gives starch. So, this reaction takes place in dark without use of light. So, the carbon dioxide reduced to carbohydrate this is going to be dark takes place in the dark reaction or this reaction require NADPH 2 as well as ATP which I will discuss in the next chapter. Okay. Thank you.